Hey everybody, it's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to manually restore a website that has been broken. And what I'm actually going to do is delete my entire website because I've backed it up in a previous video, which is linked to below. Because we have the backup of all the files and folders and the database, we can recreate the website entirely. So I'm going to delete the whole website and then we are going to upload it again and see if we can get back to where we were before the website was deleted. And this is something you could do after your site gets hacked or after something breaks when you update your themes or your plugins or your core files. You always want to make sure you have a backup before you do anything major just in case something goes wrong you can then get your site back online as quickly as possible. So here we see the current state of the website. This is our demo site wp-phd.com and I'm going to delete this whole website right now. So how we do that is we go into our hosting account and we go to the file manager. We open the document root for that website. And these are all the website files right here. I'm going to click on the first one to highlight it, scroll down, hold down the shift key and click on the last one to highlight all of them. And then click on delete and then delete files. This takes a few moments for them to be deleted. Now they're all gone, and we are going to go back to the website and refresh and see what happens. Nothing there. Website is gone. Now what I'm also going to do is delete the database. So if we go back into the cPanel, we have to scroll down to the place where we have the PhD My Admin option. Click on that. And I checked my WP config file before I deleted the site, and my website name is Flowerpots. So I'm going to find that database and we're going to do what's called drop the database, which is the MySQL term for delete. So we open the list of databases on the left, we find the flower pots database, and we scroll down to the very bottom, and we choose check all, which checks all of the tables, and then in the drop down with selected, we choose drop. Now it's asking us, do we really want to drop all these tables? Yes, we do. Now this database, the Flowerpots database, has no tables found in the database. So now we've deleted all the WordPress files and folders and the WordPress database. So now we can restore it from the backup that we made. Now how we do that is first we'll restore all the files. So if you recall, or if you've even watched the previous video, we had a zip file created that we downloaded. We're just going to upload that zip file. And that zip file can be found in a special folder that I made. And this is the folder, or this is the zip file right here that contains all the website files and folders. So we click on open. And in the bottom right, it shows that the upload is starting and it gives an estimated time for how long it will take to upload those. I will pause this video while it uploads. When it's done, I'll be back. So here we are, we're back. The upload is completed and we can actually close this upload files tab. And then if we, if we refresh the file manager, we see that our zip file has been uploaded. To extract the zip file, all you have to do is click on it to highlight it and then click on extract and it will extract all the files directly into this folder as well. So we can leave all these options as is and click on the extract files button. This takes a few moments, moments to extract and then it gives a list of all the files that were extracted. You can click on close, reload this page again and now we see all of our site files are back. And we can delete the backup off the server because we don't want to save zip files on the server just because that's a security risk. So now we have all our files back. And if we go back to our website, where there's currently nothing, if we refresh the page, it now has a WordPress installation menu. So you can go back and install WordPress again, but then you lose all your data. But we're not gonna do that. What we actually wanna do is we will wanna upload our database, the database that we backed up previously. So if we go back to our Flowerpots database, which we deleted earlier in the video, now we can go to the import option, which is a tab at the top. Click on import. 
You can say leave all the settings as they are. Just click on the Browse button. Choose your file to import, which in this case is a .sql file. And then click on Go. It takes a few moments to upload or import that file in that database. Then we have a message that says import has successfully finished 240 queries executed. So now if we go back and click on the structure for the database, we should see all the tables that were there before we deleted it. And it looks like they are all there. I'm going to assume they are because I didn't memorize them all. If we go back to our website here, we go to the home page. We can see that our website is back online just the way it was before we deleted it all. So that is how you manually restore a website from your files and folders backup and your database backup. And this holds true also for a lot of backup plugins which will only export a zip file that contains the database and your files and folders. A lot of the free backup plugins don't have an auto restore feature so you have to do it manually using the steps you just saw in this video. I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn Alpass from WP Learning Lab. Please make sure you share and like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, check out our social media feeds, and check out wplearninglab.com where we write about WordPress every single day. Talk to you soon.